Ahoy and welcome back to Rothmar, my hardcore guardian on Lord of the Rings Online. In this episode we made our way to the Northern Downs. We started to clear some quests from the Trestle Bridge. We headed into the fields of Thornos and to the ruins of Thornos itself to clear out some more quests. After that we headed slightly towards the centre of the North Downs where we, we did more quests, believe it or not. We end up at the end of this episode in a Dwarven settlement ready to do some more quests in the Northern Down. The quests are starting to get slightly more difficult as they're starting to get closer to my level, but we should be okay to continue. So without further ado, let's jump on it. And uh, welcome back to Lord of the Rings Online as I play through Rothmar as my hardcore guardian. In this episode, we are going to continue to make our way through World of Middle, uh, World of Middle Earth. Last episode, we finished off the Lone Lands, as well as, let's look, um, doing, I gained some quests in Agamor. However, I won't be doing them because they're a little bit tough. So what I intend to do is, handed, I finished off the main story quest called the Book 2, The Red Maid. In, um, so that's now that completed. So I'm now heading to the North Barrows. The game stops lagging. Uh, North Barrows, just here, where you've got Fornost on the west side and you've got the slightly higher level area in the east. So my intention is to do this area because my main story, my next book, gets me to go talk to Hal Barad. Uh, he is in the Northern Downs, so he's just set up over here to the east in this little town. I forgot what this town's called, but that's where he is. So that's what I intend to do. While doing all this, obviously I'm going to do all the quests. Yeah, doing the quests will give me some more virtue points just down here will give me some more virtue points for my overall um well, overall which should be great uh, i just ran past where i was looking for so that's what we intended to do this episode so i'll be jumping in and out while uh, clearing out this area and doing these quests now, i won't be showing everything because once again i am fighting these level 25 mobs so this shouldn't be too difficult i say shouldn't be too difficult um I have fought against slow level mobs before and it has almost killed me a few times. So we'll just play it as it comes and I'll show what I can show if, as long as it doesn't get too boring. Do you need to keep an eye out for some of these mobs in this area do offer quests? Like these guys here, these uh, birds, if I take one bird out it should offer me a quest. They've got a little ring above their head. As I'm over five levels above them, probably five levels above the quest as well. The quests aren't guaranteed to show above the head, but here I need to take out ten of these birds. So we'll just jump in and out as and when I uh, get content completed, or if I fight against a harder mob. So I spent a bit of time doing a lot of quests in Tessel Bridge, with the combination of me taking out this signature mob just at the top here. It's actually, it's actually pretty strong. I didn't, I didn't pre-buff or anything, I just ran straight in. Thought, you know what, Lugbus, he can't be that difficult, surely. Um, and yeah, he's not too bad got some other quests when I kill his picket over here he will drop another quest but the servers seem to be absolutely whack today you can see here and then I'm pressing all my buttons and nothing's happening and yeah I'm yeah, I'm stunned but the yeah the, the servers just seem a bit poor but that will be this well, that's the signature mobs done for this area I do have a quest to go over here and take out uh, what's it called and find and enter the dangerous pass of Nan Wafran. I will probably try and do that because it is a fellowship quest. Where is it? It is a fellowship quest. However, I am nine levels above it, so I might be able to do it on my own, to be quite honest. So here we are running around the fields of Fornost. We've got this kind of like a uh, signature mob here. We've just doing some uh, some of the main story in this western part of the North Downs, hoping, oh, oh I, I was able to block them in time, that's good, I was uh, too busy talking, yeah, so we, some of these signature mobs I've had to kill, so I've had to kill a few others, um, they, they're actually quite, quite painful actually, um, they haven't killed me, obviously, because I'm still going, but they've been pretty painful, we're going to continue off, um, continue with the Fields of Fornost, got a few more quests, I think some of the quests will actually take me to Fornos itself. So just like the Great Barrows, I'll probably just do them. If I get the quest to go there, I'll probably just quickly do them. It might be 
in a different video, a separate video of me just running through Fornost. But I could probably solo it, to be quite honest, uh, realistically. But we'll see. So I've really enjoyed doing the quests in this field of Fornost. And here we are with another kill quest. I should finish this guy off. So, ooh, that's a lot. Did he do that amount of damage? Is whether it was just me with lag or something. Something took off a lot of health. I hope it wasn't him. But I'm going to use my health anyway. So I've really been really enjoying the quest in the fields of Fornos. So as you go around doing, so I had one quest which physically had to, be, had to make me go and do something. As I was going around doing that one quest, which was searching these crypts, or searching these, um, these chests over here. There's six of them all in total I'd go to search. As I was going around, finding them. He's giving me all these different quests as I was uh, roaming around. Really cool. Really cool mechanic. Rather than being like a normal fetch quest or quest givers. You get rewarded for doing a little bit of, ex bit of exploration, which is awesome. So I'm now going to run all the way back. I've killed like three signature mobs in this area. They're all relatively easy. So let's go and hand in these quests and see where this takes us. So this clears most of the fields of Fornost. Just got this one person we need to take out. Defeat Ozenafron. Oh, he's got, he's got help. Okay, we'll see if we can quickly take these out before he joins the fight. I don't think that's possible. We'll quickly use a quick heal. And if I can ideally take care of his ads, then he should be more than capable. Right, let's see if I can... No, okay, I didn't want to talk. He was immune to my stun. Use my potion as well. It's now 1v1. I am half health. Let's use this. Okay, I don't have anything to stop that from happening. I... I don't really have a escape plan here, so I do need to come to people. So I've gone down to 400 health, down to 200 health, got stunned, 200 health again, shadow scream maybe, come on come on come on, yes, very close, he almost had me. I had 184 health left. Oh, sweating a little bit there. That's the biggest, well, closest I've come to dying for a while. So I've just got to go over turn and hand this back in. Um, so let's go and do that. Once I heal up, that is. I didn't, I should have eaten food before that, but never mind. So I thought I finished most of the uh, Fields of Thornos quests. But there is one here, which is to take out Blood Eye. He actually has two followers, these two Bergeists. See if I can actually take one out without aggroing all of them. Okay, looks like I've got one of them without aggroing him, or without aggroing the other one. Which is, this could be good. Now I can quickly take out this one. Let's pop both my defensive buffs. There you go, now it's just me v him. Should be more undoable. Mr. Blood Eye. Once again, I am seven levels higher than them, but they do actually still pose at least some difficulty. As you see in the last fight, just now, I did almost die from my 1v1. There you go. So that is, that is one of the quests that just pop up while you're walking around. So I'm making my way to this quest hub up here because that should take me to Fornost. Should. I could be wrong, but it should take me to Fornost. I wouldn't mind doing Fornost, it's just a cool dungeon cool place to be, especially with all the lore. Here we are, another signature mob, fighting against Gruff, 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 this, this ghost ahead of me, you can just see him there. <laughs> I cannot pronounce English words, so I am very much English myself. When it's like really weird random combination of letters and numbers and everything in between, I just can't pronounce it. Like this, Gruff, Gruff, yeah, let's go for Gruff. We're going to call him Gareth. Gareth Gates. So here, Gareth Gates, he did a bit of damage to me. Uh, but just like everything else, he falls. 
Uh, there is a quest for me to go and investigate this tower. Don't know why I have to investigate this tower. I just do. Very close to ding into 34. Maybe actually kill him one. No, actually, no, one more bunch. Uh, but I do have a quest here to take out some enraged shades. Which is the kind of all these are. Okay, if I uh, let's hover over them. Is this what I need to take out? Yes, I need to kill eight of these. Uh, yeah, eight of these. So killing these should give me enough experience to level up. I'll be level 34. Let's see how much experience one gives me. Uh, 50 experience. Okay. Uh, but, but, yeah, that should be give, give me enough experience. We're going to clear this out, and then we'll see where this takes us. Alright, so this is interesting. So I searched that, and it tells me to defend myself from Jumon's Wrath. So I'm hoping, because normally when it's like many quests like this, they tend to summon uh, troops to help them. Okay, he didn't summon that one. It was just a random NPC that got involved. So I'm hoping that he doesn't summon anybody else. While, while he's disappeared, I can take out this NPC. Then when he's back already, quickly throw a heal on myself. And hopefully I can take him out soon. There you go. Okay, so now he's dealt with, I can use... Okay, he's, he's just completely disappeared. Awesome. Needs me... And now I need to go back to the... Guardians of this place. Hmm, let's see what I need to do. Apparently there's... I have to search for signs of looters. Apparently it's to the east. Around here. But almost leveled up. So we'll just keep doing this. I think it's this tomb here we have to go to. Jump off. Yeah, okay. We'll uh, see you shortly. So, finish those quests. Dinged to level 34. And looks like there is a chest here. Okay. Um... Oh, I have to bring it back. Okay, I showed that because I suspected that I'd get into a fight. Finally got my interrupt skill called Stamp. Uh, it's really good. Been waiting for this for a while. Uh, return it to its tomb. Oh, I have to physically take it to its tomb. All right. But I've actually paid attention to these quests. So now I've got my interrupt skill. I've moved my AOE interrupt down here uh, because it wasn't guaranteed to give me an interrupt. It does shake off my uh, if I get dazed or anything, which is good. So that's now back, so I think I should go talk to Colbert. Colbert, the mad, the guy I just spoke to. Yeah, so an interrupt really useful. 20 second cooldown. That is gonna be amazing. So it's not linked to a dun a, a, a dun, a daze or stun uh, that I have to do on an enemy. What can I do for you? And that is that. He's got another quest. Let's see where this takes us. Would Treasure Hunter do something Treasure for Hunter's you? Camp. Which I believe is yeah, in Fornos itself. So we're going to make our way there. So, finding my way through four Nost doing some of these quests. And there's one quest I had to take on a load of rockworms, which is fine. They're just signature mobs. I've taken out a few so far. And I've done the empty of beasts to limit in a load of beasts. Killed a load of beasts so far. They've all been signatures. One of my quests is to kill this guy. I'm not going to do this. That requires a full fellowship. I'm not going to take that elite master. He's level 26. Granted, I'm a few levels higher than them. I'm not going to be able to do that solo. So, um, back to killing these rockworms and then handing in the quest. I have now got the quest to go to Fornost itself. The dungeon. If I look at that, I see whether I would do it on my level or I'd just speed run it. And play it through at the level of the dungeon. So I think the level of the dungeon is like 20. Let's have a look here. Level of the dungeon, Fornost, right? Level 26. So I might run it as if the dungeon is level 26. Granted, I will be. Uh, eight levels higher than it, but I might do that. I don't know. I'll have to decide. I've got plenty of time. Yep, we've annihilated a lot of orcs and goblins. And we've made our way into the stronghold of the orcs and goblins. Um, killed a lot of single mobs, and we've just come across this Bog Bogmal Defiler, who uh, I think is maybe the leader. Or at least some form of leader, because he's obviously the main boss they want me to kill. There you go, is that dealt with? Killed a lot of mobs in this area, so I have to go over turn back. I wasn't able to kill the boss at the top there, that really strong fireworm. It's probably going to be a later job. This might be the last of the quest for Four Nos before I have to do the dungeon itself. So, I have done a fair bit recently. Done most of the western part of the Northern Downs. Or up until this Am Wraith 
then I've done a little camp of Ost Lagros. There's a little camp of a ranger there. And I've just well been away, all the way up friend. to the north east. I guess the north of the North Downs to this little dwarven kind of little settlement where I find myself. So I've got a few quests to do here. And that, well, well, I'll be doing them probably in the next episode. So I'm going to call this one here. I've spent a lot of time in the Northern Downs. I've achieved a lot of the quests and killed a lot of signature mobs. Almost died a couple of times against these sign signature mobs. Although they're lower level than me, they still pose quite a big threat. But we'll be calling it here in this episode. If you made it this far, thank you much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day and peace out.